Hello guys, welcome to episode 13 of Random Euro Truck Simulator 2. Now, we're currently located in Lyon, um, in France. This is the map that we've cut, or the, well, how much we've covered of the map so far. It's 1.37%. Um, so, I've, had a, I've already had a quick look at the potential companies and places we could be going to and I'm a little bit concerned about something um, it's some of these African destinations for example here I didn't even realize I, I even had this little bit of Africa here from some African mod that I've got I don't like the the look of that I don't I'm probably I think I'm gonna delete that mod because it's just too it's too unrealistic like just to, to go to get a ferry from Barcelona to to Africa like that I'd, it's not what I want to it's not how I want to play the game as much as I'd love to drive in Africa or that part of Africa I want to do it in the right way by literally driving <laughs> through Africa through the continent not by getting a ferry so I am good I'm, I'm not gonna make a decision on it just yet I will do some research on it um, but I may very well delete that that map um, that mod. Anyway, in um, Leon there are one, two, three, four, five companies. So we'll do the random number generator to see which company we're going to be heading to. So there are five companies in Leon. Oh, first of all, let's just mix this up. And now we'll do one to five. Let's see where we're going, or not where we're going, which company we're gonna be um, picking up from. It's company four. Let's go and see what that is. Right, so company four in Leon is this one, Fiege, Fiege, Fiege. Um, so this is one of the African destinations in Gambia. That's another African destination in Gambia. Um, we've got one to Liège in Belgium, and in a northern direction, and we've got one to Perpignan in the southern direction by the Spanish border. Oh, and another one. I didn't see that one. And a really short one to Villa Le Dom. Um, I'm going to make it. I'm going to do a bit of research on that African map, but I, I don't think I'm going to include them um, in the when, when we do the random number generator. But that will be confirmed very shortly in the next part of this video. Right, let's uh, choose one of these. It doesn't matter which one we choose, but it has to be from um, that company, Fiege. We'll choose, well, we'll choose this one. This one's actually going to expire, so we're not going to be going there to Villa Les Dombres. Okay, here we go. So we got actually we got quite a long drive. Um, how do I get out of here? What's here? So we got quite a long drive um, to get to this depot. Oh, almost crashed. <laughs> Exit. 
So we're driving through the streets of Lyon. At the roundabout, take the third exit. You see, I don't think Lyon um, was part of the Viva de France. What's it called? Viva de Fra La France add on. Um, I think this is part of the old game. But whether it's been updated by Pro Mods or SCS, I don't know. So I have decided um, not to take the job, the jobs to Africa, just because it's too unrealistic. Uh, I don't want to be getting a ferry all the way from Barcelona to, I don't know, to Gambia. It's just um, I want to be driving as much as possible and only taking ferries when you really have to. I understand you do have to take a ferry if you want to play that mod in, in, in that part of the world, wherever it was, Gambia, some other countries, right? But the best thing for me to do is just to remove that mod from the game. So this weekend, that is what I'm going to do. I'm just going to remove it. What's that? Is that a train? What's that on the right hand side? The train, I think. So we can see here that Leon is split into different parts. This is a <laughs> we're going to a completely different part of um, Leon. It's almost like we're driving to another city. I think it's said we're in a place called San San Pre San Prest. Something like that. Here we are. Right. Where are we going? Uh, bit awkward. Oh, don't hit the curb. Oh, God. <laughs> that was bad. 
We are finished. Right, let's see what the options are then. So I'm interested to know what the other option is going to be. Because that one expired. Right, so we're going to forget those first two. And I'm not going to include them. Um, so Liège is obviously still there. Perpignan is still there. And the new one then is Rodez. Um, okay, so it's one, two, or three. Um, okay, well, let's see which of the three places <clears throat> we're going to be going to. Right, going to mix it up first of all. And then we're going to do one to three. So one is the longest journey to Liège via Luxembourg. So a new country that would be. Um, the second one was Perpignan, right in the south of France on the border with Spain. And the third one was Rodez, kind of southwest of Lyon. Let's see what we get. It's number two, that is Perpignan. Okay, nice. So what's been really good so far is that we keep exploring new roads. Um, we're not backtracking on ourselves at all. I know that will happen at some point, um, but it hasn't happened yet. So a relatively short journey to Perpignan awaits us. Time to get the job done. Interesting. Right. Let's quickly just check the map, see if I'm going to change anything or not. It doesn't look like I am. It looks like a very direct, straight route. Um, but it's all on new road as well. Yeah, there's absolutely nothing to to change here. Um, as we head to, yeah, southern France. Okay, looks straightforward enough. Hopefully a bit scenic as well. Quite looking forward to this. Right, let's take these glass panels then to um, Perpignan. So, in terms of my experience or well, my life experience in Perpignan. Um, well, there is none. I've never been there before. So there's nothing to talk about <laughs> regarding that. Turn left. But I mean, I'm, I'm quite looking forward to this journey. Wondering what we're going to see on the way. So I'm trying to improve the sound um, on these videos. So I'm now wearing headphones. But the problem is, is that I can't hear myself speak. 
Um, so it's like all I can hear in my ears is the, is the revving of the engine. Um, so I'm still getting used to that. So I need to try to just speak as usual, knowing that I will be heard on the video recording, even though <laughs> it feels like I'm not, because it's because the sound is so loud when I speak that I just can't hear myself. Right, so hopefully we're not going to have to stop for a rest on this route. We're due in at 3.35. Well, basically we've got six hours left. Our next rest stop is nine hours. So yeah, we're absolutely fine for rest stops. We're also fine for petrol too. As they only recently filled up. Now, of course, we are in France, so I can drive up to 90 kilometers per hour, which is nice. So, of course, it is now getting dark, which will affect what we see outside, which is a shame. I'm probably just going to end up speaking less just because it just feels really weird to speak. Hang on, he said keep left, didn't he? Yeah, keep left. And then to the right. Now I think it's down here. Yeah. It looks like a fairly simple journey, just heading south. It's actually probably the wrong lane, isn't it? It's the wrong lane. Oh, almost crashed. Okay, we're finally arriving at one of these uh, toll booths. Surprised it took this long to come to one. So after this journey, it would be nice if we could um, uh, take a job that gets us driving into Spain checking out the Iberia map so it's, a, it's um, yeah the Iberia DLC I'm not particularly familiar with I think I may have touched on it brief, like briefly once on the edge of it maybe but I've never had a real good explore um, along that map
So what I thought may have been quite an interesting drive to Perpignan <laughs> um, isn't really that interesting. It's just motorway driving, it's pitch black. Um, you know what I mean? We, we could be anywhere. We could be in Germany at the moment. We could be in, I don't know, the Netherlands. <laughs> So is that, are they stars? I didn't realize there were stars in the game. That's nice, nice touch. Although it looks like there's too many stars for it to be realistic. the drive of my life. Maybe I should just try talking, um, even though the sound is even though, yeah, the sound of the engine is drowning my voice out as I speak. It really is quite off-putting. <laughs> right, we're turning off. Is that Toulouse, I think it was? Montpellier. weird. The stars have gone. Toulouse and Montpellier. Mm -hmm.
Jeez, I've almost crashed into the barrier. Barcelona's on the map now. Yeah, so it hasn't been the most exciting journey, this. Although maybe the scenery is really nice, I just can't see anything because it's pitch black, to be fair. You just miss out on so much when it's dark.
So I'm in the wrong line. Just a hundred K to go. Oh, I can hear myself speak now a little bit. Now that my engine's not revving up. Oh, Perpignan has made it onto the map, onto the sign for the first time. Good old Perpignan. Oh, is that the moon? I think we can see the moon. I do wonder what the scenery is like out here. Alright, we turning off here? No, this is a service station. I think Perpignan is the next turn off. Okay, not the next one then. Well, it is a turn off for Perpignan, but it's not the one we need. Here we are, and that's, and that's where we need, that's our destination, somewhere on the right hand side, all of that stuff over there. There it is. We're very close to the border with Spain.
Ooh. Oh no. I've hit a car for the first time on this game. Oh. <laughs> Then continue straight on. That was my fault. I'll hold my hands up. Let's get in here. Go straight on. Oh, I've crashed again. <laughs> Things I can't see. Oh dearie me, what am I doing? Seriously. Seriously. Dreadful. Oh my god. I've even knocked a sign down. What am I doing? My god, I need to reverse out of here. I can't, problem is I can't see what's behind me. There's loads of traffic there. Deary me. Alright, go, 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 go. Alright, you wait there, mate. What am I doing? No, I've got this all wrong. Just a minute. This is dreadful. Right. That's not going to work, is it? I can't see a bloody thing. Right. My God, what am I doing? How am I going to get in here? All right, keep your hair on. I'm not even close, am I? I'm miles away from getting in here. Right, there's nothing coming. Well, there is something coming. Right, no, 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 you're turning the wrong way. No, you're turning the wrong way. Now I'm going to hit that car. I'm going to hit that bloody car. Right, I'm having issues here. Oh my god, what am I doing? How am I going to do this? Um... Should we try again? <laughs> Hang on, I can't even try again. I think I'm just going to have to... Oh! Right. Oh my god. What the hell am I doing? Look! at the mess I've got myself into here. What do I do in this situation? Right. Try not to crash. Okay. I'm going to drive away. And I'm going to try again. Don't crash again. Oh, I can't believe this. I made a right pig's ear out of that. So many things have gone wrong in Perpignan. So many things. Turn right. First I hit a car, then I couldn't get into the place and then I hit the building caused damage to my truck right, I'm going to try again right, change the angle here 
Right. This is this is tricky. This really is tricky though, to be fair. Right. No, stop. Just stop. Let me through. <laughs> right, is this gonna work? God knows. Go straight on. No, I'm still fucking stuck. Fucking hell. This is ridiculous. Honestly, it's the most ridiculous place to get into. Fuck me. Get ready to turn right. Turn right. And then turn left. Jesus, why is this place so awkward? Oh my god, I've lost the plot. I have literally lost the plot. Disaster in Perpignan will be the title of this video. Get ready to turn left. My worst journey so far. Finally. Turn right. It was a nice ride. Oh, where is it? Where's the bloody thing? There it is. <sighs> I think the problem I'm having it's it's just really irritating like s having a loud noise in my ears with the headphones and speaking at the same time it's just well I've, in fact just having the headphones in in my ears it's just too much it's like I think I'm gonna to have to stop using oh my god what am I doing that's not the right fucking place is it Jesus Christ yeah this has been the most frustrating episode so far sorry for swearing but I've got pissed off What am I doing? What the fuck am I doing? Where is this place? Right, okay. Right, jeez Louise. I'm not even close to it. What a disaster. Let's try again. Oh my god. I don't believe this. I'm not going to give up, but I'm pissed off.
No, too much. Hallelujah. It was still excellent though. Right, I need a break. I didn't mean to press that. We'll allocate that later. Um, right. That's me done for the moment. Right, so we've completed the journey. I've had a break, so I'm in, I'm in better spirits. Um, we now need to find somewhere to have a rest, uh, or in-game rest. Let's have a look. Oh, it's really, really close. In fact, there's two places nearby. Oh, no, that's just um, a property, a garage you could buy. So we'll go here. It's very, very close, which is good. Um, and that will, yeah, end our episode of Disaster in Perpignan. Let's do this. So I just find it really difficult to talk with these um, headphones on. So I think I'm going to save what I want to say for the next episode. Um, without headphones on because it's just not enjoyable ultimately I wanted to improve the sound quality of my videos ready to turn left. but not to the detriment of my own enjoyment turn left and then turn right Struggling to drive in Perpignan. It's an absolute disaster town for me, Perpignan. Where's the entrance? Is it here? I think it is. The engine's off, I get a bit of peace and quiet. Okay, that's the end of the episode. Um, <laughs> the worst one so far for me. I um, hope you enjoyed it, and see you again soon for the next one.